I'm Maria. Hi, welcome back. I'm Rosanna. Welcome and to happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Are you going to do a little dance for this? Yes. Hey. Do a little, <laughs> do a little <laughs> dance with them. Well, today we are bringing you the photo dollar, and I'm going to allow Maria to go into what oh. this nice device is all about. And just in case you think I spelt it wrong, I did not. It is spelled F O T O, photo, trying to be cool with the little wording. Well, you know what? I thought it was photo yeah, at photo. first. And I'm like, no, that don't sound no, right. No. And then as I was looking down the Linden Library list, I said, okay, this is photo. And then when I clicked on it, it was like, this is for the photos, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm cool. like, wow. The reason they call it the photo one, it is, like it says, a photo dialer, um, which is really cool because you mm -hmm. can have photos into these slots. Mm -hmm. um, say somebody has memory issues, um, the numbering and trying to remember numbers is too difficult for them. Mm -hmm. Even for children, they can't remember somebody's number, but they mm -hmm. know, hey, this means 911. So if you need the police, press this button and it will go straight to the police after you program it. Okay. So to program a number, it's really nice and simple. You pick up the dial uh, phone, you listen for a dial tone. Oh, one second. Oh, hey there, Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Miss um, Kathy. So you pick up the dial tone, you press this white button here, which is the memory. You hold that, you dial the number. And then you press the button that you want it next to it. So when you hang up, it's programmed to remember that number. So now when you pick it up, all you have to do is pick the picture, the button next to the picture, and it will call whoever you program the number for, which is pretty cool. Yes. And you can program up to 24, I think, 24 num pictures on there. Wow. That's a lot. That's They gave you wow. like a lot of sheets. Wow. For a lot of numbers, so that's pretty now, cool. Now, what they're saying with this nice device, the photo dialer is useful for the elderly, mm -hmm. the children, um, the disabled, the blind, the visual impaired, and those that have difficulties um, using the telephone. So if you're having problems, you know, with using your phone um, at home, sometimes, what, what was that phone we used? The voice activator? Yes. Yes. Um, we tried the voice activator, but for some reason that um, got discontinued through the Linden Library. Mm -hmm. So now we are trying the photo dialer to see if this would be compatible to the voice activator. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, um, if anyone wants to borrow it, you can borrow it through the tech out, the Linden Library. Yes. Yeah. You know, to get the phone, and it's very Along easy. With this one too, right? Is also on there. Right. Pair them together. Right. <laughs> well, what we did, we needed a phone, so we brought one of our demos out, which is the Clarity JV35, um, to use. <laughs> to use our photo, our photo dollar. With. So <laughs> she reminds me so much of Anna White. I'm wearing white today. So. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'll go on. I'm sorry. No, but everything that we we are featuring today is through the lending library. And like I said before, children can use it. Elderly people can use it. People with disabilities, all disabilities. Um, I, th I think I've seen the blind on there and also the visually impaired mm -hmm. is also on there as <laughs> well. Um, you want to use the very small pictures for it. 24, um, it holds 24 like we talked about, 2 inches by 3 inches. Mm -hmm. So you know the little high school, like, uh, graduation photos you pass little, out to the people? The little wallet Yeah, size. or the grammar school pictures at graduation. <laughs> oh, she said grammar school pictures. You know, pictures. the little squares <laughs> that you pass out to your friends. Like, remember me over the summer. Well, well, go ahead and put them in here so you remember them. Um, so it also comes with a low battery. It'll let you know when this is dying. Um, if it is dying, all you have to do is go ahead in the back, 
flip this open and it will take it will take two AA batteries and that's all you need to recharge that and you'll be good to go. Say you unplugged it, say you did all of that unplugging, mm -hmm. well this will still remember the numbers you program okay, until so you, you won't lose it. Yeah, until okay. you reprogram it, it's going to stay in here. It's going to stay yeah. the same. So way. say you move to another state. Those numbers will be in there. So you have to go back. You gotta go back and the, fix it. Yep. Okay. Fix the codes. You know the okay. area codes. Okay. But other than that, it's pretty cool. And look at it. Yeah. It does have pre-saved ones for health, hospital, nine one one, poison control. <laughs> now, now remember, Pharmacy. it will connect to your existing phone line. Yes. You know, at home. You know, so there shouldn't be no worries. You know. Um, but it's not a phone. No. Remember, it, it's assistive device for the phone. For the phone, yes, right? The phone. <laughs> it will help you with remembering who you need to mm -hmm. to make the calls to. Anybody with dementia, Alzheimer's, uh, mm -hmm. any memory loss problems. Uh, mm -hmm. If the numbers get them angry, well, don't worry about the numbers. Look at the photo. You know what I mean? Right. For people who want to still be independent, right. make their own phone calls. Right. But be able to do that. <clears throat> okay, we talked about the batteries. Um, these batteries should last a year, the AA batteries. So you should be able to use your phone for a year, but if it dies, just go ahead and switch them out. <clears throat> okay. I just think, I, I really think it's nice. Um, for an example, I mean, pictures there is just like flashcards, mm -hmm. you know, so if you can use, you know, pictures that's going to help you like a flashcard. <laughs> I don't know what they saw at Tom Cutting. Can you see it? I thought, I, thought, I thought she was doing another Vanna White movie. No, no, no. <laughs> Poison, hospital, uh, pharmacy. <laughs> this one's pharmacy. This one's pharmacy. And then hospital and night. Right, hours. right. So, you know, if you, you know, if it's an elderly person or a person with a dementia, you know, flashcards will help. Yeah. You know, with yeah. using um, this phone, mm -hmm. the the adjustment, the adaptation for the phone, the quick start guide. Yeah. I like know. it because, like we said, it's for children who are just learning to use the phone mm -hmm. or what if, God forbid, there's an emergency, you're on the ground mm -hmm. and you need your kid to call. We'll tell them. Hit that one with the little picture, mm -hmm. and boom, there you go. So that's yeah. convenient. And it's safety. easy to show them and teach them, mm -hmm. you know, if something like this would happen. Happen, you're ready for it, yeah. yeah, they're ready for it, you know. <clears throat> um, so, no, some questions have been <clears throat> towards, it will work with my cell phone. No, it won't. It has to have a landline cord, an analytic line is what it requires mm -hmm. so this wire connected to the wall connected to the phone line right so um, no right. sorry it won't work on your phone it could work in your office say you need it in your office mm -hmm. as long as they have these kind of cords it will work it'll work so, okay yeah. so you, you can got bring the it connectors to your work. the different mm -hmm. connect connections and everything yeah. you know and then again you know just to remind you um Individuals, um, the elderly, um, persons with dementia, using cue cards, you know, cue cards to contact um, daughters, emergencies, pharmacies, um, doctor's office. Um, you can probably get these cue cards from the Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. you know, and then cut them up and then make them yes. out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's so easy to slip into right here. So whatever kind of image you need, yeah. we go ahead and small. slip them in wallet Almost size. Like, I would say wallet size. Almost like um, our little cards that we give out, you know, same business community. Card? Yeah. yeah, business same card. Yeah, business card. Yeah, you can do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we can cut them to that size yes. to yeah. help a person, but also put some nice faces on there to help them remind themselves who they're reaching out to. Mm -hmm. So again, <laughs> if this is something that you may be interested in, you can always borrow it through the lending library, okay? And then everything that you see here today is from 
the Linden Library. She, I can't stand. You can get her. all of this from the Linden Library. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so there was something I was going to tell you. Oh, what you meant? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It'll come back to me. What you meant? Oh, you can use it for a long distance, but you know, phones with anything, you need to make sure you can. Mm -hmm. It's a part of your plan before you start calling people. I mean, that bill is not going to be fun for you. Mm -hmm. um, there was another one. Yes, it can work in your office. 24 numbers. Um, oh, yes. Okay, say this is set up in somebody's office, and you're like, well, does it work as a regular phone, or do I have to use this? Mm -hmm. You just pick up your phone and dial your numbers and don't worry about this. This is not going to send any signals out right. to anything. This is just the address book that holds your phone numbers. Think of it like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, that's all it's going to do. It won't interact with your phone. It's a regular phone. Besides, you know, forwarding the call. Yeah, that was what I need to say on that. Um, let's see. Now, also, for the person that is blind, you can also use Braille on there. Mm -hmm you know, to help out with this as well. Okay, I'm just suggesting, you know, probably using, you know, symbol, um, little symbols for, you know, each person that you would call. Say number one, number yeah. two, number three, number four. So, and then yeah. you know what number you're calling. Number four is Patrick, you know, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. and have a little, you can use the braille maker that we did a long time ago. I doubt that braille label, put it on here and say, oh, this is the person we're calling. Yeah, I, 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 I do apologize. I haven't been able to reach out to the young lady that is blind. Um, she brought that up and I did tell her that we uh, focused on the braille, what was that, the braille reader? Yeah, the label that you, reader. That you really yeah, liked. I loved it. Label yeah, reader. you liked. Mm -hmm. And um, to where she can put things on clothes, oh, you know, yeah. to say what color yeah, and stuff like that. On there. So I think I'm going to bring that back again. Yes. Um, it's so many tools in the Linden Library, so many gadgets, um, devices, but I call them tools because these tools help us us people with disabilities, with um, our daily living, our everyday living. Mm -hmm. So um, just speaking to her um, last week was very nice. Um, I want to send a shout out to the Sight Center here in Erie, Pennsylvania for um, providing that referral to her to reach out to me. So Sight Center, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, to the office manager, um, I send out information and um, I see that it's being used. Um, so I do thank you for sharing um, the information of the tech out, technology for our whole lives information um, with the group over at the site center um, here in Erie. So thank you for that. <clears throat> so I think we should do more. Yeah. Um, get more gadgets um, oh, yeah. for the visual and blind, mm -hmm. you know, not just the telephones that right. we're doing, yeah. but try to um, collaborate some of the gadgets that we're using for also, you know, individuals that have a visual mm -hmm. impairment too, or blind. So mm -hmm. when you have this out, just remember, these are not programmed. They gave you four free ones, but don't, press it thinking it's already connected to it, you literally have to go through each number you want, program it, pick the spot you want it, put the number in, and then boom, it saves it on there. I wish we could have done it on here, but this is a fax number. So yes, I have a dial tone, but I can't. I'm calling a fax number. <laughs> our, our other meeting room, did it have a dial number, a dial? Dial tone up there. Over. That over one there. we did, because that's the one we were Is calling. Is that the one that we were calling? Yes. <laughs> she went, hello? Carol was going to kill us. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. See, I remember we did, we were using a phone. And, and then one time we did call from here, but she was like, it wasn't working because it's a fax number. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I know that there is an outlet, you know, for yeah. you and I to use. Back there. Yeah. Back there mm -hmm. for one phone. Um, normally the uh, outlets are used for multiple lines, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, like the 12 lines that Miss Carol got out in front. But yeah, I remember we did call her. Yeah, I'm like, she gonna, she's going to call us. Time. She's going to kill us. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Is right. there, did we go over um, everything? Well, I think we did, but we can go double check again. Um, you know, how to insert the photo. You just lift up the little thing right here. And it'll come out for you. This is really sticky. Mm-hmm. A top. It's a little <laughs> photo card. Stick it she right in there. <laughs> now they did put examples in here, and that's what yeah. she's put time into. Mm -hmm. So they have a picture of the pharmacy, mm -hmm. poison control, nine one one, and doctors. and the doctors. Yep. So uh, they did put uh, the lending library um, for this device here, just for an examples of different things that you can put there. So those were the four examples that they put here in the slot right. there. Just to give you. you a head start of what you can start mm -hmm. programming in there mm -hmm. for you. So yeah, we went over how to program the number in there, pick it up, memory, dial the number, mm -hmm. pick a spot, and then it says to hang up and it should be in there. So to make a phone call, pick it up, pick a photo, press the button, <laughs> and then you know and then it'll bring you to it so that's how it's supposed to work it has the number stored in press button it sends it out and then you just talk to the person okay so that's how to use it <clears throat> we talked about the battery if you need to take this thing off to you know do this stuff like take these out there's a button right here you press down and then you pull and then you pull and then to put them back in there i swear i didn't break it hold on hold on <laughs> to put it back in there you just take all your sleeves oh lord <laughs> And then you put this in here. Thank you, Miss Kathy. We're trying to be awesome here. <laughs> oh, thanks. As I break the thing. Thank you. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. And then you put it right in here. Like this. Nice. And you put this part in here and this part in here. And it goes in. Now, mind you, when you're getting, uh, when you're borrowing from the London Library, if something should happen, just like this, and you think that it's broken, you can always call us. Now, if it is broken, all you have to do is still call me, and I'll just say, hey, pack it up, send it back, and we'll deal with it mm -hmm. uh, when it get back to uh, the lending library. So anytime... <laughs> I'm okay. We're good. Keep going. <laughs> anytime that you borrow any type of device from the lending library and... For some reason something goes wrong or um, it didn't come the way that it's supposed to receive it you Do know not open it anymore yeah let her know yeah just call me and i'll have ups pick it up and they will send you, know, you one and back. they'll send we'll send that back and we'll get another one yes for you um sometimes with the juggling it around through ups and moving here and there things do come off things do break so I just don't want you guys to be alarmed and say, oh my God, I got to pay for this. No, you just have to call me and say, hey, Rosanna, um, I was opening the box up and unfortunately um, things were broken. You know, uh, just call me and we'll, we'll take care of it. You know, just send it back to the lending library. But if you go on that five weeks and don't notify us that something was wrong with it, then, then that's, it's going to be, be a problem. So just let me know 
um, if there's a problem with the device, you know, it's not working or a piece is off, a piece don't belong or a piece didn't show up, um, you need to call me. Normally when you receive um, the device from the London Library, they will have the list, the name of the, the device and what's in there, you know, in there. And then you could just check it. You know, just go down and check and say, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Yeah. You know. It comes with the papers and says this is what's in there. I would, like mm -hmm. you said, go off with that. Make sure every little thing is in there. If you're missing one, just put everything back and say, nope. Right. <laughs> you know, don't even mess with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Maria have also borrowed tools at home. And she was like, hey, Rose, you know, this don't look right. And I said, well, tell me what's going on. She was like, well, this is what's going on. It's not moving. It's not unlocking. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, let me make a call. Mm -hmm. So I made a call, and it was like, oh, okay, maybe she needs to get batteries, or maybe she needs to get, what else did they say you need to do? And we said, oh, no, we don't want to do that. We'll just send it back and mm -hmm. let, let them look at it because they're the experts. They're the specialists. Right. And you don't you want know. to get in trouble for messing with right. the product. You know, I'm the coordinator. Yeah. I, I won't even give myself that title specialist. But I'm the coordinator. And my job is to make sure that I help you get the device that you're interested in. Um, I help you with submitting it if you need my help with um, completing the, um, the process. And I'm the person that follow up with you to let you know it's coming or if it's on a waiting list. And um, UPS will be delivering it on that day, but I'll always call you like two days before the delivery. Sometimes they don't give me the time that it's going to be dropped off, and sometimes they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only thing I would recommend if you do receive anything from the London Library, they're pretty good with leaving it there inside your door. If, you're used to receiving things from the UPS. They know where to put it, but when it's time to be returned, I will hand it back to them directly. You know, saying that you did give them, you know, even if you want a receipt. Can they go they'll to give you a, a UPS store? A lot of them do. Okay. Some okay. of them feel comfortable, like if they're not going to be at home, mm -hmm. That day of, you know, you get five weeks and we give you a date. Yeah. And I don't know if you have the box where it shows. Oh, it's up back there. It's up there where it yeah. says it's, it's due, due back July, yeah, July, July 7th or 15th. Yeah. Uh -huh. It'll tell yeah. you. And I'll call you two days prior to the 15th say, hey, are you ready? Sometimes I, I always call two weeks to see if you're going to extend the extend the borrowing time mm -hmm. the, to make sure that there's not another person on the list mm -hmm. for it. But when it's time to be picked up, I will call you in advance to say, hey, UPS is going to pick it up. But some will say, hey, Rose, I go past it every day. I'm not going to be at home when UPS come, so I'm going to drop it off. And my first thing that I say is make sure you get a receipt. And I thank you for borrowing mm -hmm. from the Lending Library. So um, hopefully if anyone is watching today, um, is interested in this device, but there's many tools in the Lending Library. And we're going to try to bring more. Um, more tools, gadgets, and devices to you mm -hmm. on you know weekly, unless for some reason our schedule change where we're on vacation or we out the office, or she does a lot of um, interviewing, doing mm -hmm. things on her where sometimes our schedules get conflicted. You know, um, sometimes I get walk-ins and I don't want to say, hey, mm -hmm. go home, because I'm about to do a video, go watch the video. <laughs> go watch the you video. You know, yeah. go watch the video. You know, mm -hmm. um, I normally, anyone that's walking in, you know, I, I do spend time with them. And also showing them our display room of the different devices. It's light and compact, so kind of cool. It looks like old uh, PS4 or like a mm -hmm. Nintendo kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's the photo dialer. So if anyone is interested, please reach out to me. Um, my name is Rosanna Wayne. Um, if you need to reach out to me by email, 
if you do not like calling in to CRI, if you think I'm not going to get your message, you can always go R-W-A-Y-N-E at C-R-I-N-E-T dot org. And I would be very happy to assist you with a device that you may be interested in. But it's your choice. It's always consumer choice, you know, of what device that you would like to to borrow or to, uh, you know, learn more about in your home. All you know, right. Anything else? No, I think that's all. Okay. okay. Happy well, Tuesday. thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I did put a poll question in there. Maybe we'll have some interactions. <clears throat>